Hello, and welcome to our first Pi Network update for 2022. Several months ago, during August 2020, we investigated and signed up for Pi Network, and we never knew if the project would be successful. Before we go any further, we would like to inform you that we have checked the analytics of this channel and found out that most of you are return visitors. That is why we have a surprise for you. Today, you can get up to $2,800 bonus on the exchanges Bybit and Femex. And getting that money is really a piece of cake. All you need to do is click the links down in the description, sign up, and make your first deposit. You shouldn't miss this chance as it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And now, let's start our video. During those months, a lot of progression and development has been made. During our sign-up, there were circa 7 million Pi Network users, and after we signed up, the Pi Network team also paid for 100,000 KYC verification slots, and we were lucky and fortunate enough to be complete my process. Immediately after Pi stretched out to 10 million users, the decision was to half the mining rate, which actually means it allows and provides a scarcity and offers users throughout the world more reason to sign up sooner rather than later. We watched and observed the first Pi coin vention where people from everywhere around the world shared ideas of what they think or maybe how they think Pi could grow and evolve and what kind of apps should be coming. And not so long ago, Pi established and introduced a dream app where people could actually suggest and put forward their ideas, thoughts, and opinions. Literally, everyone could vote on those ideas. So, we actually get Pi apps where we can use our Pi coins, most likely and relevant even before the Phase 4. That is another thing and main news that occurred that took place in the last several months, and according to a lot of different facts, we can expect and anticipate reaching Phase 4 within a year, so it is very possible that in 2022, we will be in Phase 4, which automatically means that everyone will be able to use their coins. And frankly, all of this information is great news because it proves and shows that Pi is actively working non-stop to get the project towards Phase 4, and actually achieving and attaining a value. But clearly and evidently not everything that occurred may have been perceived as positive. For instance, when Pi was about to reach 10 million users, the core team asked the app if the mining should stop and if the mining rate should be halved. In our belief, at least from what we perceive, the bigger percent of the users actually wanted the mining to stop. Clearly, it is also very possible that these responses were leaned heavily towards the stop mining option, whereas the overall consensus would have been to continue. But either way, we do agree that the option or the resolution to half the mining rate made a lot more sense. Because if the mining would have come to an end, there would have been no further inspiration or stimulation for people to join the network. According to most of the experts, things with the Pi network and this community is doing even better than they have expected. There are millions and millions of people joining the network almost every day. According to the statistics, more than a million people are joining the network each day, and the network is growing faster than expected. Now this, with the fourth phase, is something that is completely new and also not expected. This means that the Pi network will continue to grow and develop. We are all aware that when the network reaches phase 3, we are all going to be able to use the coins as a normal cryptocurrency. Just to remind you on the whole development, the Pi network launched phase 1 of the project on the 14th of May, 2019. As you probably know, that is Pi Day. The first phase is way behind, but as you know during phase one, your balances are being recorded with a guarantee of being honored when Pi transitions to mainnet, which is the phase three. Transfers of Pi are restricted until we reach mainnet to prevent bad actors from accumulating Pi from fake accounts. For example, a bad actor could mine from fake accounts, transfer the Pi to a legitimate account, and then pass through Pi's account verification process despite their illicit gains. According to their white paper, they are still refining the exact development timeline for the project. Before the launch of the main net, the node software will be deployed on a test net. That is something that the white paper of this cryptocurrency is claiming. The test net will use the exact same trust graph as the main net, but on a testing Pi coin. Pi's core team will host several nodes on the test net, but will encourage more pioneers more of its users, to start their own nodes on the testnet. In fact, in order for any node to join the mainnet, they are advised to begin on the testnet. 
This is what is precisely stated in their white paper. The testnet will be run in parallel to the Pi emulator in phase 1, and periodically, e.g. daily, the results from both systems will be compared to catch the gaps and misses of the testnet, which will allow Pi developers to propose and implement fixes. Even if you are not so much into the technology and engineering, you have to admit that the approach is almost genius. After a thorough concurrent run of both systems, Testnet will reach a state where its results consistently match the emulators. At that time, when the community feels it's ready, Pi will migrate to the next phase. This is the best way to verify the users and to have a clear and secure network after the launch. This means that the Pi network might be one of the most secure networks on the market out there. After Phase 2, it comes Phase 3, and now, the Phase 4. Some of the features are going to interlap for bigger security for users. But Phase 3 still has its own job to do. Still, after Phase 3, you will be able to use your coins, and after Phase 4, the mining will continue for the new users that are joining the network. According to the official white paper, they are saying that the community should feel that the software is ready for production and that it has been thoroughly tested on the testnet, the official mainnet of the Pi network will be launched. An important detail is that in the transition to the mainnet, only accounts validated to belonging to distinct real individuals will be honored. This is something that you should be aware of, because the network wants to be one of the most secure. After this point, the faucet and Pi network emulator of Phase 1 will be shut down, and the system will continue on its own forever. Phase 2 might be gone as well after Phase 4 is implemented. Future updates to the protocol will be contributed by the Pi developer community and Pi's core team and will be proposed by the committee. This is the phase when Pi can be connected to exchanges and be exchanged for other currencies. If you haven't signed up for Pi Network, you should really do it. According to everything stated above, you are not going to get as many coins as the ones that joined earlier in the process, but still, you're going to be able to get some coins and benefit a lot from the Pi network. As you probably know, all you have to do is press the mine button once in a while, or once in 24 hours. It is a very small effort to do. Even if you are already using the Pi network app on your phone, there are still some things you should know. First of all, go to your app and check if you verified your phone number successfully. If you are using your Facebook account, that should be verified as well. To verify your identity, you should also use the app called Yoti. This app is needed for the personal verification process. This is essential for moving to Phase 3 and Phase 4. This is very important for the smooth KYC process and the transition into the phases. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Our recommendation at the end is not to wait for Phase 3 or 4 to join the Pi network. You should do it right away. Please support our efforts to help you with subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with your friends. See you in the next one.